Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 39 As you can remember, as you might remember We did the whole thing with Raphael up there And we found out that person that was following us It's, uh, it's her assist, his assistant, right? We also get to, came to learn that there is a dwarf um, wench from Shadow's Caress that has been missing. That seems to be important. So let's see where... Wait. This is not the place. No. I am way... Oh, yeah, <laughs> lol. Very well. We got a lot to see today, so let's give it a look. Over here. Oh, you can buy clothes here. Oh no, this is Go. This is fucking Co Carnage, isn't it? Put him up. Put him up. What? Yay! You spoke to me! Nobody ever talks to me! Your fist, silly! I'm trying something out! My name's Narber, adventurer to be, soon to be the best adventurer anyone's ever seen. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventure I want to be. Oh. What do you think? Can I be a fighter? What is this? So this is Go Carnage, isn't he? Oh, that is fantastic. He <laughs> picked a different career. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to be nice to him. Right you are. I'll just find something to punch i guess it won't hurt will it no surely not ah uh, he doesn't have it in him Roar. Roar. what Roar. what are you on about did you wet your pants did you did you ah oh, the barbarian so he's going through every class or something pretend to be terrified <laughs> Oh god. Yes! Nabber has found his calling! Roar! Like it's barbarian now. Ooh. Maybe not. <laughs> Does he give me anything though? A quest or something? Happy birthday to you. What? Right, so he's a bar or something. Happy birthday, dear. It's time about the bugger. Happy birthday to you. What do you think? Am I a good bard? Oh, shit. All the bars I met play an instrument. <laughs> I cut out your tongue, but I want to know. <laughs> oh, never think again, Lord. Should I, guys? I don't know if I should keep encouraging him. Thank you. Wait, so that's it? Something's on my mind. Bless us with your gentle, no, holy, holy uh, spirit. No! Ah, what's that, cleric? Spirit, your powers, your divine powers. Bother. Uh, felt a bit lowbrow for Narber. What's a bard gonna do? Sing at you? Ha! No, I've decided I'm gonna a be cleric. a cleric. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me. I must pray. Our holy, uh, most holy, sacrilege, heretic, God, God, God. Oh my God. Bless us, <laughs> please. What God are you praying to? Leave it, leave him to it. There's more than one? Shit. Oh, he's, he's onto something. What? Oh, you 
You you didn't get it? But I'm I, I... to be a dog. Everyone likes dogs. Ah, what is that droid? A dog. Instead of an owl bear. <laughs> Nobody likes nubber. Oh, how long have been took? It's five minutes or so. I've been talking to this guy. He doesn't give me a quest or anything. Behold, mundane. I'm a wizard metal. now. You step in the domain of a master speller, for I am to be the most mighty wizard. Wizard? W I Z. Uh, what? What? Wizard. Oh, spelling. Okay, I didn't get a, a language barrier there. Oh, that is so idiotic. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is completely useless. I've been talking to this guy for five minutes, and it's completely useless. And even then, Larian just wrote it down because. That's amazing. Know any fiendish philanthropists? Oh, warlock. Fickle fay financiers? Like well. Employers? I want to make a pact. I, I want to make a pact, he says. Here's a pact for you, give up. Uh, sure, you're ready to be warlock to sell your soul for eternity. My soul? I have to give up my soul to become a warlock? My God! How much of this we can get? Um, I am dumbfounded. What is that, a monk? Um, uh, a paladin, um, a monk. Yeah, the monk. Oh hi! I didn't see you there. I was in deep meditation. See, isn't peace and quiet just the best? Gonna be the best monk there ever was. What? Nava seals his lips, but you feel the pressure of words behind them. Oh, he just likes to talk a lot. Fit to burst. I can't do it. I have too much to say. You were right. I can't be a monk. I just want to talk. Talking's great. See, you can say words, make friends, tell everyone everything you're thinking and feeling. As he empties himself of his latest slew of thoughts, you take the opportunity to <laughs> slip away. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, we should get going today. We have a lot to do. I really have a lot to, to do. Okay. Boo! What's that, uh, Rogue? Rogue. I'm a shadow, a master of sneakery, a rogue. <laughs> Was someone talking? I hear them, but I can't see them. Oh, I pay. <laughs> oh, oh, I might be too good at this. What if no one ever sees me again? What if no one ever talks to me again? No! Oh god. Oh, okay. We should really get going. No. I don't think that'll work actually. But I don't want to I don't want to miss Oh no, I'm going to feel bad if I go and I miss something. If not a rogue, then a ranger. I'm great at chasing things down. Long lonely months on a trail. Go after it. <laughs> you're great at nothing. In fact, you're the worst person I ever met. Lol. I don't know why I want to be nice to him. Why are so many adventure jobs so lonely? I thought you were supposed to have parties. I, guys, I think I think I'm indulging him because I I think it reminds me a little bit of myself. Perhaps the answer was deep inside me all along. Oh, you're done with it. An oh no, he's not a sorcerer. Arcana. Yes, I was born to be a sorcerer. Oh god. <laughs> uh, we finished the illusion. 
Why do I keep talking to this idiot? Why? Why? <laughs> Can you do any magic? Let me, let me focus. I can feel the oh, God. deep within me. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up. <coughs> oh. Ah, brilliant. Oops. <laughs> Justin's chest. <laughs> uh. Ah, you conjure something, all right. Is that it? Tell me that it's it. So My liege, we're running out of classes. I swear to you, an undying oath of right. absolute devotion. The paladin I like me. Paladin. Oh, look at that. Oathbreaker. Then you must follow my commands. My first is this. Break your oath. Now. Whoa. I've done many terrible things, but I read no more than listening to you. Never speak to me again. Oathbreaker. You must follow my command. Break your oath. But I... How am I supposed to... Oh. Oh, no. Uh, something inside me feels very wrong. What? Did I just break something? Oh, I hope it wasn't anything important. <laughs> oh, so that's it. That's how he breaks this oath. We went through hell f because of that. <laughs> oh... Sure are restrictive, aren't they? Are you done with really it? Adventuring life's just not for me. I really like talking to you. There's not a lot of people that want to talk to me, so I brought you this present. Here. Now, what are we gonna talk about if not the adventuring life? He gave me something though. What if I mix the, the multi classes? Oh Robert, God. You Oh, this has been great. <laughs> Wait, he... He flee. Absolute confidence amulet. Performance plus one, intimidation minus one. Oh, well, okay. Did he leave? It seems like he did. Oh, stranger. Thanks for stopping by Calm's Gums. Oh, guys. Well, Sorry, I... <laughs> what can I do you for? Sorry that I was muted because uh, <laughs> I started choking legitimately. I was laughing and I, suddenly I was I, I choked. I had to go for a drink. Mm. I apologize. That's been great. Uh, I don't know how people can hate that man, like the character I mean. If you know who that man is, I can only say that I wish my YouTube channel could one day be at least a shadow of what he's got. That's actually good, but in any case, we're in a tail shop. Uh, and this is Carmen. You've not quite got the pattern nail yet. What? I don't know what that's about. Ugh. If it's empty pattern you want, get your clothes from a brother Figaro. But if it's genuine quality and genuine taste you're after, Calm's Garms has you covered. Oh. You don't get on with your brother. You wouldn't either, if you knew him like I did. Since Dad died, he thinks he's cock of the bloody walk. That I should give up my shop and work for family business. For him, dick. Mm. Wanted to his sister close? She lost your dad after all? Maybe you should keep your nose out of where it doesn't bloody belong. That is true. Now, you want clothes or not? That is true. I am. Um... However, you might want to remember that dialogue, piece of dialogue there. That's why I'm doing it. But yeah, let's see what you Sounds got. Sounds good. Get you something a bit fresher. We've been using. Outfit. We've been using uh, Mithara's clothes since. I don't know, episode 8. <laughs> so maybe we should. Maybe I can buy something for everyone. After all, these are not expensive. And that one looks good. But I gotta buy the trousers as well, right? And she doesn't have them. Well, what what a what a fucking episode it's today, right? Like, we have not done anything. 
This is the same. Haven't you got anything more? I don't know, elegant. Oh. It's incredible how I worry more about this instead of real life clothing. I would never spend this much time buying clothes in real life. Uh, let me tell you that. Yeah, I think that's all right. May. Yeah, okay, let's go. Let's go. Out. Let's get out of here, guys. We need to get doing a lot, and we haven't even started. Remember, Khan's Garms, here for all your fashion needs. Well, very well, thanks. Oh, I still hit it up, man. So, where were we? I forgot. Oh, yeah, guys. There is this dwarf wench, dwarven wench from Shara's Caress that is missing. And we've offered ourselves to be looking, to go looking after uh, after her. Now, a thing to mention is that, hold on, there is a lot of noise here. Well, it's noise everywhere. I don't think to mention, in case you are wondering, it's that I am changing characters every now and then off camera now. So we don't waste time on that, although we've wasted a lot of time already from this episode. That is so, just so you know that these characters will have a, uh, maybe a part of dialogue and something like that. Uh, related to them, more than anything. But yeah, this is Shrigo's uh, flop house. We've been mentioned to come here. Well, there you go. Actually, the door is over there. So we want to come here, and we'll see what what's going on. Did you look at that? This guy is our adventurers. Traveler. So this guy is probably give you more context on anything that's going on, but nothing too important. Give that ill mate to Temple a wide berth. Rude buggers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. Uh. So did I. They wouldn't let me in. Spouted some tripe about my sort oh. and absolutist murderers. I only wanted to sit down a minute. What's your trade? Let me show you. Oh, she she actually has stuff. Well, we always want the the thieving tools and this as well. Thanks. I think I still have a lot of junk to sell. Pleasure doing business. But yeah, as I said, these people are usually just going to give you more context on any, on everything that's going on. Hello. So, good. So, give me three days and... Oh. Oh, I... Apologies. Thought you were someone else. Greetings, so forth, so on. Hmm. So that, that's the, the dwarven wench we're looking for. Fion Goldgrind. Goldgrind? I don't know. Uh, looking for a killer, a dwarf dressed in red, just like you. Oh. Wait, no, that's not a dwarf, he's a halfling. Who do you think I was? The landlord. Yeah, Sir he's Frank definitely Arantia. a halfling. A most generous soul, I assure you. I should know. What do you know about Fionn Goldgrind? Fionn, one of Mamzelle's girls, who laughs like a star's twinkle. <laughs> not seen her for a ten day. Ten days and four bells, to be precise. Not that I'm counting. Hmm. She has gone missing. Missing? I hadn't thought her missing. Just not here. Or elsewhere. Oh. 
I suppose that's like missing, but with extra words. I mean, you are acting a bit you don't suspicious. Suppose the murderer who's on the loose got hold of her. Oh goodness, no! It's too horrible to imagine. Hmm. Well, this guy's not a dwarf. I will be doing a racist. Ah, but nonetheless, I'm a drow. Let's see what happens. How dare you! Accusing an upstanding citizen like me of being a dwarf? Yeah, I, I knew it. You oaf. Well. Told you, lads. Uh, very well. There's not much going around here. This is the kitchen. But this is where uh, she lives, basically. There's an innkeep and she lives here. Oh, look at that. Hold on. I forgot about this. Uh, we have to talk to them before they fly. So, good thing I saw them. We should go. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mass. Soon, sister. I only need one more mark. We have enough for the master. No more are needed. It's not for the master, it's for me. I spent 100 years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there, ready for me. And once the mass is done and our Lord grants us freedom, so these guys. I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Casador promised you your freedom, and you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But oh. your load seems especially light these days. Astarian? It... It cannot be. Oh, that's no way to welcome back a brother, Dal. <laughs> Didn't you miss me? <laughs> Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. Oh. So this, this is... Astarian or me? We're here to kill Casador, that's the only way you'll be free. Oh no, it's up. Yeah, okay. Isn't it obvious, sister? He wants to ascend with the rest of us. He heard about the ritual and the power our master will grant us. So he came back with his tail between his legs, hoping all would be forgiven. <sighs> Definitely not. You were an idiot, Petras. <sighs> oh, look at that. Why does Casador need me? What is he planning? Brother, please! Talk or burn your choice, say nothing. Now say nothing. This is amazing. Tell me what I need to know, or I swear you'll burn. The Master is preparing the Black Mass beneath his palace. There's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time. Hidden from us all. Keep talking. The Black Mass. It will be his triumph. He'll complete the ritual and emerge the vampire ascendant. He'll walk in the sun. He'll be free of the hunger. He'll wield power no vampire has ever possessed. Best of all, we'll join him. His loyal servants <laughs> Definitely not in the light as living vampires will be free, brother. <laughs> you can't believe that. You can't be that stupid. We deserve this, Astarian. Can't you see? We've given him everything. Our blood and tears. And he's finally going to reward us. And you will be with us when the time comes. It's fate. Written in your oh, very flesh. Low blow. Well, that is obviously not what's going to happen. Yes. And they'll be trembling in fear when they tell him. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do... Casador's bidding. I 
pity them. Still, though, a living vampire. Hmm. You can already walk in the sun. Yeah, but that's because of the tadpole. Yes, but only because of the parasite. This would be true freedom. Freedom from the hunger. Freedom to live a real life in the sun. No tadpole required. And if I were to ascend instead of him, freedom from Kazidor once and for all. Hey, there's a dwarf behind the stadium. Do you see that? Perhaps. But if I don't confront him someday, I know I'll spend the rest of my life running from him. And if I can take this power from him, it would set me free. Truly free. I have to know. I have to face him. Yeah, Astarion's uh, story is really good. Yeah, we're definitely helping him. Uh, I knew I was right about you. You're a true friend. And now we know he's skulking beneath his palace. We can take the hunt to Cazador. All right, let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. Lol, very well. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Well, we cannot rob anything from here. There is this dwarf. Now, what do you reckon, lass? You trust these steel watcher thingamajigs? Okay, truth be told, lads, watching the video. I am actually a bit colorblind, uh, and when I say a bit, it, I, I mean that it's actually I am colorblind. So I don't know if he's wearing brown or red. So this might be the one we're looking for. Oi, no second that. It's all right where well, we can get work repairing. Him, Although no, because his name was Dolor. Do uh, it's no good, I tell you. From one of the letters we've read, the name of the dwarf we're looking for is Dolor. I don't quite remember what's here. Well, but up here we can we can steal. There's no one looking. That shapeshifter's key unlocked the door. Interesting. Oh. Oh. Hidden place. Bloodstained notes. Oh, I feel a perception there. Two hands now. Two hands. Two of them. More. Needed. Not enough. Must cover myself in glory to be covered in blood more. Well, that is some terrible grammar. Bloodstained parchment. Messy splatters of deep red brown adorn this scrap of parchment. Uh, thus wishing to face the Dreadlord's Tribunal. So that is um, the guild of assassins that it's been around the city. Apparently they, they want to join a Baal temple, basically. And to enter the temple of Baal must slay the targets on this list and, fr uh, and frame the corpses as a murder by cult of the Absolute. Oh, bring the victim's hands as a proof. Oh, so that's what the other note's about. Now it's two hands, apparently. Uh, as proof of the killing, uh, walking blood aspirant. So, and this is the list. Duke Bellin Stelmain. Look at that. Elfson Tavern. Killed. Father Lorgan. Killed. Dribble to Clown. So that, that might be the clown torso we picked up. It's killed. Uh, Alexander Rainforest, officer near the counting house. Uh, pear tree. In failures. Okay, we've heard about that. And the rest have not yet been killed, so we need to take this. Father Logan's on here. Crossed off. A target list, perhaps. 
so we can see who's next and try to avoid it. These tunnels were full of shapeshifters. Father Logan's name is written here too. Right. Anything of use? Some clothing. Oh, there is a. There, by the bed. Someone spilled some blood. You notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. Hmm. Okay, this is not such a uh, heavy throw. Oh. Okay, let's go out again. You notice the blood source. A body hidden under the bed. What's this? Oh, this is that dwarven. Fionski. To the best of, uh, of wives and mothers. You're telling me this one was a wench? It's identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's the key, the flowery key. Now, uh, we got Shadow Heart, so we might as well try this out. Let's see. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Okay, remember guys, this is five questions only. So, who are you? We're not gonna ask that. We know who she is. Uh, how did you die? Murdered. Oh. By my son. A son who spills his own mother's blood is fated to spill plenty more. So, her son must be the one we're looking for. Who's your son? Dollar. Dollar, precisely. Very well. What does your son look like? Where can I find him? Dwarf, like me. Well, we already knew that. I was hoping for a more specific answer. The corpse remains silent. Oof. It does not know. Okay, last question. Why did your son kill you? Found his secret. My sweet boy. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Oh, very well. So no that will ever believe this. doesn't really give us a reason. Malice. Could your active weapon with poison targets must succeed at constitution saving throw or become blinded and poisoned? Oh, okay. Scarlet Leather Armor. Mm, can this be the dwarf's clothes? I just bought clothing, man. And we got lots here. But in any case... Oh. We got a little more of information. We know that this is all to enter... Uh, the Temple of Baal as, a, as an initiate, you need to kill uh, certain targets and bring their hand. So we, we got that for information. So I we need to get chicken. This guy say anything else? What if they build a machine that can drink points? But <laughs> after bloody city out of jobs, uh... Well, no, nothing. Uh, what we uh, we do need to get going, it's um, Valeria. Bloody ages we spent hiking from Murren. 
And they won't let us in the city proper. Bollocks. We're adventurous, damn it. So yeah, as I, as I tell you, these guys sort of give you, everyone's going to give you more context in how they feel about everything that's going on in the city. Which is pretty, it's pretty sweet. Uh, this is Sheriff's Caress, right? Yeah. Come here, I'm not going to start an argument. I just want to know why you turned the boss down. Oh. Cheeky. We might be in a brothel, but I'm not that kind of gal. You should reconsider, though. The boss might be a devil, but he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in the city. Yeah, sure. Listen, because I'll only say this once. This fight isn't just about Baldur's Gate or the Sword Coast or even Faerun. If the brain wins, the Illithid Empire returns and worlds you've never even dreamed of will die. Raphael can stop it. He wants to. And he knows how. You're the key. You always have been. Fuck him, lads. We do not bargain with devils. That's Will's job. I'll stop the rain without his help. I doubt it. Fuck but you then. If you do, you won't survive the fight. I'd reconsider if I were you. Now, lads, absolutely not. So, boss instructed us to. Okay, here it is. But first of all, Valeria. We just spoke with the. Uh, found something interesting to discuss if you're interrupting me again a bad plot i spoke to brilgor spirit a red uh, clad dwarf killed them both for another body in the flop house nearby i think it's related okay let's start with this that doesn't make sense why would this dwarf kill Father Logan? I need something more than vague allegations. I want something compelling. Hard, tangible evidence, and nothing less. Oh, oh, oh the lip sync. It's going to shed a little bit there. Uh, a group of shape shifting assassins were under the temple along with more murder victims. Well, that is startling it still doesn't disprove my theory that brilgore killed father logan does it that's what you need if you want to change my mind hard evidence a reason too if you're at it why was logan killed well for someone that asked for so many evidence uh, for so much evidence uh, your conclusions are a bit brain dead uh a ball plot a Baal plot. You as well. Devella's been harping on Devella. about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods while up in fear mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. <sighs> Fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? It's not a theory. I have proof this document contains information connecting the murderer, the, the murders to Bali's researches. Father Bali is letting his children out to play. His acolytes are out running red and rampart. Recruiting initiates to his cults, committing murder is how they receive an invite. No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Fucking hell, man. Developer is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Oh. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. 
When we got access anyway. Well, what are you waiting for? You've a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move. A bit weird the situation here. I was putting it a bit. But yeah, then we got that. And we also got Voss. Because we haven't speak to him after the, uh, we spoke to Raphael. Voss, friend to the comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Yo, the respect now. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Can we talk about your ear first? Deception. I took the bargain and we free Orpheus at the, f at the first chance. Uh, should I? I'm not interested in pacting with devils. Uh, I will find another way to liberate Orpheus. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the first mother's son. Gith cards have Kim crashed. You put your trust in me, Voss. I plan to honor it. Yes, and it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Iztik, I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. Very well. Orpheus sends the tadpole before, and his guard attacked. Won't he attack if we free him? Yeah, that's what we are afraid of. Any idea where Raphael might keep the Orphic hammer? And uh, no, if I ask him that... The Prince of the Comet aches for Githyanki liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. Very well. A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. The House of Hope. We must find a way in. The House of Hope, you say? I couldn't ask for a name more fitting. Every house has an entrance, Istik. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. Very well. Wasting your time oh, and the Emperor. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. You see, it's here when the Emperor becomes a little bit of, uh, suspicious. All that uh, interference. It is vexing nonetheless. But in any case, with that done, I think we should proceed from what I thought it could it would come next. And that is to uh, get the circus out of the way because we need to, it's gonna be very difficult once we advance to just come back. So we definitely should clean up all this uh, all this place here. So, first of all, I just want to know if I have words and whatnot because I I might be running low on money. Hello. No. What the fuck? <laughs> what in the hell is all of this? A necessity. Good sir, the Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! What? Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. Okay, guys, I'm introducing next episode that way, just so you know. Heads up. Very well. Uh, I know I have an extra plan or circus. We 
We travel from plane to plane, thrilling all, blessed to see us. From tempestuous Ginny to belligerent red caps, you'll find them all here. I like to enter. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> Without a face. Blood! Tasty blood! So delicious! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, we got a lot of charisma. Uh, uh, for a moment there, I thought. I'm not a threat to you or anyone else in the circus, I swear it. I used to be a killer, but I've reformed my ways. Deception. I'm afraid. Uh, I'm a friend of Lord Gortash. I wonder what he'll say if I tell him about this. Or I'll snap you too. Okay. Uh, I've reformed my ways. Surely I have. I haven't killed in a while. Innocent that is. Oh damn! damn. <laughs> I'm not a sucker for big eyes and a hard oh. plea. Very well. Welcome to the circus of the last days. Have fun and be sure to catch the star of our show, Dribbles the Clown. Very well, Dribbles the Clown. So, how many clowns are there? Because we still have... Yeah, we got it here. Clown Severe Torso. So, let's... Oh, look, this guy entered. Lots of things here to see. But I'll show you one of my favorites first. It's this mummy. Very well. So if we make this throw, it's pretty easy. Oh, that was just. You realize she is mining, putting on face paints. She has them to sell. Precisely. <coughs> Let's go. Uh, she sells face painting, disguise kit. We're not very interested in that. Uh, and everything else is die, D Y E. Whatever. You pronounce that in English. But we want to buy all of this. <laughs> Which is a lot of money. Ah, oh, actually, it wasn't. I thought it was 500 each. But never mind. We can probably buy a few of these things. No, you know what? It's not even necessary. So, <laughs> why are we doing this? Well... The right question could be, why not? Uh, okay. I'm gonna give one to each. And to Lysel. And to Karlak. And we're gonna use one ourselves. Now I'm not entirely sure. There you go. As you can see. If this washes off after the rest or something like that, it, it would seem it doesn't. No time to die. Which is interesting, nonetheless. <laughs> Look at that. And I'm definitely putting one on Lysel. <laughs> well, there you have it. That's me when I ask for likes in the videos. So, we got that genie. We're gonna come back to that afterwards. Here you got everything, like the bars playing. I don't know why they stop performing when I'm around, quite frankly. I might be too scary, too scary. 
And why was I telling you that we need money to come here? This is the reason why, because I never done this before. And I certainly want to see how how it goes. Darling, we have a customer. <clears throat> is your camp drab? Dreary? Then you have come to the right place. Browse our bespoke stony and bony creations. Bony. Or commission a statue in your likeness. It is our most sought after service. Right. Stony and bony, which are you? Bony, at your service. <laughs> uh, that there is my darling <laughs> wife, Stony. Is she not magnificent? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, quite magnificent. To think she chose me. Why I wake up every morning with a smile on my face. Uh, uh, now, what can I do for you? I like a statue of myself from my camp. My wife shall be delighted. Customs are her five thousand lads, check it out. When their oh god. Is as unique as yours. What do you mean? Okay, so here's the thing. It can either be uh, um and this is the thing I asked on Discord, nobody answered. The statue of me armed and ready for the battle, a statue of me. But in my night clothes, a statue of me naked. <laughs> so that's it. That's the the options. I really like uh, armed and ready for battle. But the naked is vexing. Mm. Yeah, let's go with No, I don't know. You know what? I want to keep that safe. I want with the armor, quite frankly. I just like the armor. Quite, and naked, it's a bit funny, yeah, but nothing can beat an armor. Tremendous. Stony darling, let us put this towards our getaway in the Moonshay Isles. I never had this, by the way. You shipped to your camp. You shall love it. We guarantee it. I never had this because I, in my last run, I never, I didn't have money uh, when I was around here. So, a lot of things we can see here. Um, look at that. Clown severe hand. Ain't that curious? What's going on here? Grandmother's missing leg. Ah, oh, and Boris. Boris! Yeah. Put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. I know you have it in you. Step it up. All oh, schizophrenic talking to the skeletons. <laughs> is this a circus act? We are decades from that. Oh, and she's got the hands cleaning over there. Not that my star needs the support, but at this rate, who knows? Call me Lucretius, ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. Normally, I'd invite you into my tent for a lovely vintage, but these graceless faces. need my full attention. Enjoy my circus. Oh, she's the owner, right? He? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this fucking skeletons, dude. You that again. Again. Very well. So, uh, I want to show you the genie. And that is one of the reasons why I started around. Not only because of the, because of the dialogue with the Casador's slaves 
but also because of this gene. Dude, your mom? What the fuck? The hell did you just call me? Ugly, hideous, vile. You are fortunate to have found me, freakish one. Behold, a Kabi's wheel of wonders. Spin to win prizes beyond your tiny imagination. Five hundred. Make your miserable life more bearable. We just spent five thousand, by the way, lads. We are broke again. Ain't that ain't, ain't the city beautiful? Uh, what kind of things can I win? Akabi has traveled across the plains, burning and conquering all. Win the spoils of such conquest, or if luck smiles upon you, win the grand prize, the jackpot. Oh, very well. What is the jackpot? No more questions. Oh. Spin or don't. Very well, I don't need to to get like that. Let us see if you have luck's favor. Oh, very well. So, you guys know we don't fail the checks in this series. Alas, no jackpot for you, ugly one. I do as the narrator for you. you may have this. We want we want to get everything possible right in this series, so we never fail the checks. So here's the inside checks. Do you notice a glint of a cabbie's beard? As it glows, the wheel moves away from the jackpot. He is cheating. So it's pretty obvious that this is uh, this is cheating. You are welcome, putrid one. Return again to try and you. And I will not. That's what that's what I got. So that's when a stereo comes in place. So as I told you, it's a glint in a cabby's beard in his beard. Let's make a save because this is pretty easy to mess up. Uh, and the thing is, oh, who saw me? Ah, uh, that guy. He's got a ring in his beard. That's the thing. Time for discretion. Come, mortals! Let's your luck! You come. Prime can pay, but not when you can't pick a pocket correctly. Oh, well, we almost steal the money. <clears throat> that was almost good. Now, without the ring, Behold, let's see how it goes. A Kabi's wheel of wonders. Spin to win prizes beyond your tiny imagination and make your miserable life more bearable. Yes, yes. Uh... Oh, I don't have enough gold. Mommy, can you give me some gold? Ooh. Oh, well, we are really broke. Never mind. Mommy. Hurry up, I need... Uh, I need some quick gold. I got that. I got that. Right. So we should have enough. Careful, I might. Yes, yes, I want to Right, that's because I'm separated from the group. <coughs> I've always left. Oh 
<laughs> we are 50 uh, 50 too short okay you're in luck woman i'm gonna give you something oh now oh, these arrows are amazing okay there's the ring is this one as well there we go. That should be good. That should be good at last. Damn, I did not plan this. I don't like diversions in the series. I like to go as smooth as I can. Yes, shut up. Let me spin the fucking wheel. So I cheated now. Uh, how does it feel, sucker? You dare enjoy the jackpot, Muley Kurt. No. <laughs> what in the hells, Ginny? Where did you send me, <laughs> Ginny? <laughs> Oh, so I explained you the movie, lads. Um, he's cheating, obviously, like in every fair game. And the people who win, he sends them into this realm to die. Basically. Wait, where's the other one? Oh, there. What? Very well, so yeah, this is some jungle-like uh, little realm. And here you can find uh, the people he sent and a little bit of their stories or the journal. Ouch. You see, the, over there, there is, uh, there is someone dead. Here. Dead civilian. And there is a few of these uh, dinosaurs, uh, Alioramus, whatever that is. Oh yeah, and over there you can see there's the portal. Very well, let's see. I need healing. There's the other one coming. make more damage with the uh, with the crossbow obviously but in the end uh, I am a melee range I love it when they look for him <laughs> it's so funny so we're out of the fight now because we're invisible obviously we need to get it going Wait. Right. 
So that's it. Here we can only find a few uh, dead TV. Oh, there is another one there. Um. This is a lot more damage with the bow, uh, the crossbow. Dead adventurer. Some golden potion. Skeleton. Journey through the ju uh, through the jungle. Like you can see, we can read a little bit of the the time this guy's had here in the in the jungle. Over there is a portal. We can get out uh, through there. I fail to remember if there is anything else of interest that we can find in this place. Oh yeah, the the, the dinosaur we just killed. It will be here sleeping. Uh, if I not remember incorrectly, I don't know why it wasn't there. And actually, this is what I was looking for because I don't know if you can actually talk to him, if you have speak with animals. The thing is, you find him uh, sleeping like uh, with the drunk people. They are like bubbling and and doing nothing. So I wanted to see if that was possible, but it would seem it wasn't. You see there, uh, beside the portal there is a chest. It would seem that's where he keeps uh, the genie, that is. He keeps the prices and everything. That civilian. Nothing much more. It's not very, uh, it's, it's not a very big place, so it's pretty... Uh... We've done everything. I am very low on HP though. Painted chest. This guy, we, you cannot loot. With pleasure. Very well. Let's see. Neruna. So this is very good for car, like if we were to keep the throwing spears stuff. Look at that. Thunder necrotic. This weapon will return to your hand when thrown, or so just like the like the returning pike. When thrown, the weapon creates an explosion that deals 312 thunder damage in a 6 meter blast centered on the target. Veil of the Wind. You gain a plus 3 meter bonus to movement speed and jump distance. Equipment with this weapon gives you immunity to falling damage. It is really good. I'm gonna give it to Karlak. We'll see if we can give it any use. We get out of this realm. And where do we end up? <coughs> oh, I need to rest. A sunset can't come quickly enough. Out of the latrines. <laughs> Ain't that funny? Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. Precisely. Let's see about the genie. Where's the lads? Okay, here I am. <laughs> How did the despicable cheater enjoy his vacation? You still call him cheater, dude. A lot of fun, actually, thanks. Akabi is delighted you enjoyed it, repugnant mortal. Be gone! Akabi is sick of you! Oh, well. Fuck off. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. What to do? Very well. <laughs> oh. So. Mm, what else we can come and see? You see there is the bards over there showing the music and whatnot. They stop performing when I'm around. I don't really understand what is it that I got on me besides my face. Uh, oh yeah, and attention to this. Do we have laser one? Yeah. A little attention to this.
So this is more than anything if you want to enhance friendship with a companion. Is an endless scream in nature's womb. I have felt no peace here. Your eyes, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love. Are you not? Yes, lads. We are in love with the Toad. We are in love with, with Lacell. I do love someone, someone close to me actually. Oh. And Laser was there beside me, you see? Everything fits. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword, and trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal. Or doomed eternally. Ooh, do we have any money? Come on, Lysel. Yes, but be warned. I play to win. Yeah. Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone. To Guys, earth. I literally. Spent all of my savings in my wedding. What the fuck? The eye, it's. Uh, I'm starting to like the face, the new face, quite frankly, guys. I wasn't sure about it at first, but I'm starting to like it. Oh well, okay, so the deal here is that we're gonna be asked a few questions and if you answer correctly or alike uh, well this can this is not only for romance I believe you can do it for characters that you want to improve your friendship with uh, as in getting more approval for certain options and whatnot so let's see what does she most desire to ascend no that that was before to find the truth about Orpheus uh Attention, lol. Actually, no, because she's she's actually a paladin. The original laser, I would say, behaves a lot like a paladin. To annoy Shadowheart. To find the truth about Orpheus, I would say. Admits the, uh, her queen's lies. You hear my words. You see my path. It is good to be known. Your bond beats in pleasure. It is an honor to behold. Many things delight the heart, but only one makes it sing. Tell me, what is the Githyanki's fondest memory? Oh, okay. That's an interesting one. Closeness of her kin at Kreshkalia, where... I wouldn't say that uh, mm, she did tell us that she even killed many of her bears as a kid. That's just how it goes in in, in the crash. Am I together? That it's a bit a vain. Turning the limbs from the beast of the sea of night. That is more warrior like paladin like spinning her own cousin's blood oh yeah that's what i was talking about uh what i would say this one seems more of a of a 
warrior-like greatness uh, feat. Well observed. There is no fouler scent, and no sweeter than that of a yogi's blood. And you see we're getting closer than that. Our touch has been that of sunlight. But now we must ask the deep. The difficult. Life is brief. Finite. When the warrior dies, what legacy will she leave behind? Hmm. Perpetuity to Kithrak atop a red dragon. Well, that would have been before. That has changed. The Liberator of the Githyanki people. That's a good one. Monster of Legend. Fear across the plains. Well, as I said, as I said before, she is pretty much a paladin at heart. So this one would be the one. Queen of the Githyanki. Uh, same, same thing. Paladin. We don't do that, such a thing. The Liberator of the Githyanki. Probably. I will carry the truth to my people, whatever it might mean. Only time will tell how I'm remembered. You see, that's very paladin, like that. That phrase she she just said. I should know not to underestimate you. You see me with clear eyes and an open mind. <laughs> the face is faint. I press my finger to your bond and find a shield. Impenetrable. It is beautiful. Your love is one few have. Cherish it. Well, I didn't even realize, but I actually answered everything right. I would have made. Uh... Go in peace, seedlings. And know that you made one whose heart was long quiet beat with love and you. Well, there you go. We're married now. I would have made a good boyfriend in real life if I wasn't scared of women, dude. Jesus. I want to tell my mom that I got married now. Um... Okay, she doesn't stop performing when I get close. That's good. Oh. What's going on here? Buddy the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? That looks like because a scary we're dog. Anything is possible. Oh Way. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good puns. Because clowns aren't enough of a horror already. Did you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? Simply watch. He got the stuff in, kicked out of him. Way. Oh no. Oh, you're all such good friends. I've had a wonderful time, but I have to go. Aww. Oh, well, if you insist. <gasps> How about a magic trick? But first, I need a volunteer with nerves of steel and the heart of a lion. Who will it be? Who? Not a me, right? Yeah. Rush of fury and oh, you. You the dark urge. The crowd, women and children alike, and soak in their innards. Jesus. It is glorious. You, my special assistant. Come on up. Oh no, we're gonna kill everyone, but uh, what are you going to do? Push the stage. I think my friend Shadowheart will make a far better assistant. <laughs> Play sell. <laughs> okay. Yeah, lay sell, of course. We're married. It doesn't matter anymore. She cannot get rid of us. You can't be serious. <laughs> oh, my heart. The enthusiasm is too much. No. 
Now, up, up, double sharp, or poor Buddy will think you don't like him. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> right there. Oh, perfect. Is she going? Yeah, go on. And here I thought Ceramorphosis was the ultimate torment. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Shit, now she's going to be mad at me. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, what's going on? Jesus. So, very well. This is a shapeshifter, basically. Oh, that's, that guy's helping me. Wait, he's one of those hookbears, isn't he? Here, there it is. Uh, Buckbear. Those usually are bad. He's helping me. Swift and lethal. Very well. Little, little body. Oh god. Oh yeah, the fight's gonna be awkward. I don't have laser prepared for fighting. <laughs> I merely broke it around for... Uh... Yeah, there it is. It's a shapeshifter. Everyone is an absolutist. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's true. We have to save the people as well. What? Oh. The dog. Ouch. He's a succubus, like the one that had a uh, Jurger back in the Catholic Thorn. Uh, no, in the Gauntlet of Shar. No, 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 no. It was indeed in the. in the Thor Mausoleum. Yeah, there goes the dinosaur. Oh, what about that guy? Okay. I'm going with this one. Oh, missed the last one. There you are. The execution. The dog's moving. Oh, he teleported. Oh, there he goes. Let's 
turn someone inside out. We're doing fine. It's just these two lads and we're done. So they the absolutist well no, it's not the yeah it's the absolutist they infiltrated the circus however that is weird because we know the ball initiates are trying to um pass their crimes their murders uh to disguise them as if they were absolutist we didn't kill a real clown in front of an audience. You see? So that's interesting. These guys are either uh, ball initiates, shapeshifter assassins. Uh, oh, the, from the tribunal. There you go. Boom. We see, we see it in you. Your thirst, the art, the passion, the trail of cold, bloody murder you have left in your, your track. It needs only the finishing touches to run you the place among his favorites. But he requires something truly magnificent. A circus has appeared boast in a collection of misfits and rat tags. Or more importantly, a stage. Now comes the performance of your lifetime and when the curtains fall, the tribunal will be watching. Oh. Oh, another, this one. Nice. Clown hammer. Remember this weapon lands a critical hit. Both target and attacker have to succeed a wisdom saving throw. Or be affected by fits of laughter. Well, if that ain't odd. Who are you, lad? Fyodor. You fight good. Doppelganger, not so good. <laughs> well. Uh. Okay, lads, so I wonder... My faith will guide me. Remember, we're still investigating. Although, we haven't done anything useful in the last hour. We're still investigating the murders. Let's see if we can conjure this guy up. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Very well. What happened to Dribbles the Clown? That's what we want to know. I killed him. Bathed in his blood. A death worthy of the list. Of the Tribunal. Right. Hmm. What is Dribble's corpse? Mistress needed his body parts. That's Orin. For her art. Most likely. Mm. What's the tribunal? So the tribunal must be uh, the ball cult. The greatest honor. Of them all. Um. Why did you attack? To sow chaos. It is his will. Okay, we got our last one. What are you talking about? You feel a rush of power, dark and insidious. Something Oh, his bewitch. The, the other ones also couldn't tell us that. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Well, that was interesting. Is that blood? No, never mind. This guy say anything else? Do not cause trouble. Killing you. Okay, no, he doesn't say anything else. He's a good guy, a, a bugbear, good guy. That's in. That's weird. Okay, so this one is the owner. Of the circuit. Have you got anything to say? I'll 
idea. Screaming children and oozing corpse, and it's not even my birthday. What? Ah, because of the necromancer, yeah, right. My circus. To use such a woeful dribbles impersonator, why it's downright rude. Right, I spoke to his corpse. This was planned. You should be worried. This whole circus could be uh, dead if not for me. You should have been here. Uh, I spoke to his corpse. This was planned. When you run a plane hopping circus of ragtags and ruffians, few things phase you. Alas, I cannot afford to lose any more staff. Funerals are so very expensive. I need to move the circus. But I cannot leave just yet. Not without dribbles. He was a star. He's dead. Customers of every color and creed simply adored him. I need him back, and I'll shower the person who finds him in love, adoration, and adequate compensation. What do you say? But he's dead. Did the Bulganger kill him? Yeah, we found his oh, well. torso. At least he won't complain about extra oh, okay. yeah. anymore. <laughs> Find his corpse for me, will you, darling? Right. I'll resurrect him. The show must go on after all. Perhaps I'll make some improvements along the way. Right. But I have the torso. Oh, okay, so I need to get all the parts, basically. Uh, yeah. That's the spirit, darling. And remember, I look after those who make me happy. Mm -hmm. Good luck, and thanks ever so much. Very well, so I thought we were to give her the torso. But now it makes sense now, because we saw the hand. Uh, here. Clown's severe hand. Why is the hand here? You may think this guy is a bad guy. Well, no. This is Gator. <laughs> no. Uh, he just has it because he sells everything that he finds. He's a thief and, and that's it, basically. Uh, I don't know if we can buy it from him. There is no harm on attempting to steal it. Right. Oof. Hold on. A little closer. Oh, give it to me. There we are. Still not enough. Hmm. Just cast the dash. I don't have the touch, it's an action. Just gonna get this close then. Using the turn based mode. Oh, too late. Just so that way I can escape. Really? It, that was in his. That was he in his range. Uh, mine. Now you got a problem with that? Oof! I don't know. What makes this hand so special? I found it by the clown man's tent. Fought a rat for it and everything's. <laughs> it's a, a one of a kind hand. Ten thousand. Seasonal bite marks. It's worth lots. Ten thousand. Oh my god, I don't have charisma with this guy. Shit. Uh, I think that belongs to Dribbles. I need it. Your ringmaster needs it. Okay, let's give it a go here. Oh, so... Guys, is this probably the worst episode of the series? It's a critical, really. <sighs> All right. Mama Lucretia says we family. Suppose that means Dribbles was too. 
Yeah. But don't tell nobody I gave it to you for free. Got to protect my reputation as a tough business lord. Yeah, ten fucking thousand. That's a scam. But nonetheless, we got the bloody hand. Actually, let me talk to him. Maybe he ha he's got something. <sighs> Clown man is dead. Oh well. Want a treato? Treato. So you call us well. They are businessmen, I think. Yes, I have lots of stuff just for you. Okay. Okay, animal speaking. Oh. <laughs> Guys, we're broke. I forget about that. I'm so used to having uh, money. Okay, first of all, let's see if he's got anything. Uh... Dark Displacement Globes. Plus one bonus to attack rolls when throwing and may swap uh, positions with the target if they fail at extreme saving throws. Plus one sleight of hands. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. How much? 200. And animal speaking, we always want that. Other than that... Mm, I'd say that's it. Doesn't have anything else. We can still manage with a clever uh, paladin. Bye bye now. Come back to Papa soon. Very well. So, what do you think of the circus, lads? Oh. The uh, attack is nothing to worry about. Madame Lucretius has everything under control. Enjoy the circus. Yeah, just like every other um Ah, what do they stop though? You look a little shell shocked. Worry not, it's nothing a little music can't fix. Very well, so I would say that is not much else that we'll get to see here in the circus out there in the back it's the connection to the temple in which we were before and that goes here in the circus now let's say that's it that's it we made it through the circus <laughs> uh, we had so much to see and i spent like 20 minutes talking to na uh, narbles naber Sorry. We spend the day at the circus. Uh, at least we got the music now. I don't know what to say. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, apologies for this episode. I don't know. It seems like it's the worst episode of the whole series. Don't worry. Don't worry. In the next one, we're going to get to start unraveling everything that's going on with Raphael, with the, with the Emperor. We're going to start proceeding into the city and we are going to start closing everything that we started at Act 1 and Act 2. We're going to f encounter characters that we've seen before. We're going to open new missions. So I really appreciate that you made it into this video. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. But with that draconic bard, I thank thee for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.